from when you guys are watching this on YouTube or Patreon from when I recorded it is probably a very different date and time, but it's crazy that I'm recording two different things in a span of like 14 days that are both titled Declaration of War. I'm not going to tell you what the other thing is. If you know, you know, I'm just saying that's just funny to me. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 2, Episode 25. I didn't even write anything down for 24. That's how you know last episode was amazing. I literally had to take like 10, 15 minutes and just go watch YouTube. Because normally, if I'm watching like consecutively, I'll just end one, start the next, end one, start the next. But I had to take a breather. Because like that shit, oh my god. Don't even get me started into talking about it again. Because I will really start tearing up again. But all we need to know is Karasuno won that match. Which is not even like, I'm over here crying like it's nationals this is a fucking preliminary tournament oh my god i can't even say that to myself but it was an amazing match against some arch nemesis rivals alba josai so it was just overall amazing but i have no idea where we're gonna go next i am so excited season three's gotta be training season four's gotta be nationals oh my god but without any further ado if you guys oh i forgot to say First and last episode of every ep first and last episode of every anime season we have is the full length, which is normally available only on Patreon, is available to everyone for free. Make sure to click that link in the description. Check that out. If you guys like that format and you want to keep that for the future, consider checking out that Patreon. Uh, it's always available, early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias: Twitch, Instagram, Twitter at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. IQ season 2 episode 25 the finale called declaration of war qualifier match i have goosebumps right now true i can tell you that best of 3 when we eventually have it <laughs> that that third match going to be insane Aw, oh, my boy Watchery. Kendaichi, man. I couldn't even picture how hard that would be, you know? That'd be so hard. That's why I'm saying I want I want there to be a parallel universe where everybody wins, bro. I love these characters so much. Iwaizumi, the toughest man of all men is even crying, bro. That's the ultimate don't mind, don't mind right there. We got your back, bro. We're still a team. Oh, I love this team. It makes me want to start crying. Bro, this is such a happy moment. This is fucking hitting me all over, you know? To look at them to be so happy, to be, for them to be so disappointed, right? Remember this. Yep. Only make this make you better volleyball players. I promise I'm not crying. Someone's cutting onions downstairs. I promise. Long time no see, Kageyama. Kageyama! That's what Kendaichi wants to say, but he's going through it right now. I feel him. That's my boy. Oh, that is my wife. Even he could tell as well. Yep, him and Daichi were both able to tell that. He really is an incredible volleyball player. もう道を間違えるな。もっと力を発揮できる場所があったのに、取るに足らないプライドのために、お前はそれを選ばなかった。damn。俺は自分の選択が間違いだと思ったことはないし、俺の場合は何一つ終わっていない。That's what I love to hear. You talk about it, don't ever forget it. This worthless pride is gonna come back. It's a Shit on you one day. Oh, 
but you keep focused on me, you're not going to see how quickly he can catch up. Oh, I love that. He's not by himself. It shows a flock of crows, or a murder of crows, should I say. Getting technical. A huge white eagle like Shiratori so. <laughs> I love it. Well, from the concrete. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Shira. Oh, the finals. Oh my god. I can't, bro. I'm literally gonna have to need. I'm gonna need to write a will, get some health insurance and shit. I'm gonna physically die from these episodes of High I swear to God. Oh yeah, Takeda is the number one reason for that. Yeah. We definitely would not be in the place we're at without you. Said it since day one, Takeda is Takeda is dope, man. That's my boy right there. I like that. As soon as we beat Shiro Torizawa, then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. Whew, god damn the show, man. Michi Mia, I was about to say, I forgot her name. It's been so long. That's probably so happy, so exciting for the school. I was telling you, bro, the school is probably so pumped. Bro, the shit is fucking... Come on, man. This is so dope. This is too dope. Look at how close those sets were, though. Oh my god, it was such a good game. Right? Hey, you guys are the underdogs. It happens, you know? Every time. They're just the known, you know, they're the celebrities. Damn. Those are close, but not nearly as close. That is insane. I can't wait to meet so many more members of their team. I know Ushijima is not the only nasty one, you know? And the entirety of the three years, Oika has been there. Whoa. God. Yes, that's what I was saying. The other players are so nasty, too. They have to be. He's telling it like it is. That's my boy Ukai. <laughs> True. I thought we were literally the flightless crows. The fight the flightless ravens, whatever, bro. It doesn't fucking matter what anybody thinks. Flightless crows. Fuck that nickname. Right? <laughs> I love that. Hell yeah. Get some eat some good ass dinner. Get some good ass rest. Make sure to brush your teeth. All that jazz, you know? If that's not the biggest throwback ever, bro, I, I swear they've done that after episode fucking two, after episode four, episode twelve. Kageyama, throw me a couple tosses. And now, this is the same thing that happened last time. Y Yachi was helping. And then it led to them having the biggest fight they've ever had. I love that. I, I've said it before. I love when they do that camera with the stopping thing. It looks so good every time. And they've gotten that particular quick down every time. It looks like they're getting this down. This is, that's what I was saying. This is literally the same exact scenario. Right. I swear, Yachi and these guys, when they're watching the match, they go through the same thing I do, you know? Right? And that's why I'm saying, you're like me, and I feel like they inspire me to become a better person. Like, to just overcome any trials and tribulations I feel like it's thrown at me, you know? 
完成しなかったかもしれないし本当村人 B の私でも役に立った Oh, townsperson B's are awesome in their own right お前それ褒めてんのか I know Oh, that's fucking hilarious <laughs> he just throws his arms around. Yeah, I agree. Yachi's been more of an important role in this team than even she knows, you know? That'd be gorgeous to be able to look at the mixture of a. A good question. To be able to look at like the forest, plus the houses, plus the stars. That's every great shonen main character before something that they're nervous about. They're nervous slash excited. That's how you know you're gonna win. I love that about. Alright, this would be the ending of season two leading into season three. Speaking of oh, this is the next day. We're there. Guys, I did not think this is what season three was gonna be. Yeah, he may intimidate you guys, but he, he doesn't intimidate my boys. That's the declaration of war right there. Everyone's happy. Everyone's like, yeah, those are my guys right there. Crows. Oh man, that shit was amazing. Oh, sorry guys, I had to go change my shirt because I was just crying and sweating too much throughout all three of those episodes. But for a wrap up episode into leading into the next season slash arc or not arc, this is all the preliminaries are one big arc. But leading into the next part of this arc, which is uh, Shiro Torizawa, is this was definitely a fantastic episode. I loved so much of the callbacks throughout the entire season. Our callback to the first fight between Alba Josai, our callback to the practice matches that we've had, reaffirming our relationship with Nekoma, our callback to the fight between Hinata and Kagayama, our, like everyone saying we're the flightless crows. Like it's just like from, and it feels like, because yeah, I've been technically watching the show for the past few months, you know, but it feels like this happened in a matter of no time. Like I love the growth of our team, it is insane. I love it. I love every character on this goddamn squad. I love almost every character on every other squad. That's how much this show just develops them way too much. But there's literally not much to say besides I'm just 11 out of 10 excited for the next season. Shirito, oh my God, you have no idea. I wanted to see a full match with them and not only that, but them against us as care. Oh my God, I can talk about it over and over again, but I'm just so excited. I think I have to go. I think I'm, but then I have to watch other shit before I can come back to watching Haikyuu. God damn it, this sucks. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make more videos so I can come back to watch Haikyuu. I'll see you guys later. I got, man, peace out, Dapper Squad. This shit was amazing.